American pharmaceutical Moderna on Monday announced it would provide 500 million doses of its COVID-19 shot to COVAX, the World Health Organization's vaccine-sharing program that is in desperate need of supply, though the bulk of the doses will not be available until 2022. After its shot was cleared for emergency use by the WHO last week, Moderna joined pharmaceutical companies AstraZeneca, Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson in committing doses to COVAX. However, only 34 million doses will be ready by the fourth quarter of 2021, while the rest, 466 million doses, will be supplied in 2022. The details of the deal have yet to be disclosed, but Moderna announced the vaccine would be offered at its lowest tiered price. Moderna's announcement comes as COVAX, a program many poorer countries are relying on to accrue vaccines, faces steep problems due to lack of funding, shipping delays and supply issues. Compounding matters is India, which dialed back exports of its vaccine in March as COVID-19 cases surged in the country. The WHO was relying heavily on India and the Serum Institute, a major vaccine manufacturer, to provide millions of doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine to COVAX, but shipments have dried up. 49 million. That's how many doses COVAX has supplied to 121 countries needing help acquiring vaccines. The U.S., which poured money into acquiring vaccines last year through Operation Warp Speed, has already administered more than 240 million shots. COVAX is hoping to accrue 2 billion doses by the end of 2021, a tall task. Several countries, including the U.S., Sweden and France have stepped up their commitments to the WHO program more recently, with President Joe Biden pledging $4 billion to COVAX. With about half of the American population at least partially inoculated and the European vaccine rollout picking up steam, wealthier countries have faced steep criticism to do more to help the worldwide vaccine rollout. COVID apartheid is now prevailing, Namibia President Hage Giangob said during a WHO press briefing last month. After facing pressure from the chief executive of the Serum Institute, Adar Punawala, Biden last month sent vaccine raw materials to India along with other medical equipment, lifting an embargo the US had in place. The most recent outbreak in India has led health experts to stress how imperative it is that every country vaccinate the majority of its citizens. In order to stop this pandemic, we have to vaccinate the whole world, Michael Diamond, a viral immunologist at Washington University in St. Louis, told the New York Times on Sunday. There will be new waves of infection over and over again unless we vaccinate at a global scale. Despite halting vaccine exports, India has fully vaccinated just 2% of its population. The outbreak and ensuing export ban has caused officials behind the COVAX effort to raise alarms about a significant short-term challenge in fulfilling vaccine requests around the world. Of the 49 million doses that have been delivered by the WHO program so far, 29 came from the Serum Institute in India. After exporting 28 million doses of the vaccine in March, the country shipped just 1.9 million doses in April and has not shipped out a shot since April 16.